In this tutorial we are gonna use plugins. Let's choose Open Weather Map plugin. It allows us to connect the actual scenarios with the database of current weather forecasts for the certain region. We are copying API key to the plugin and installing it. All right, now let us create the page where the end user will request the information referring to the weather in his or her city. So we are creating the new web page, choosing the name, the path and the icon. All right, here it is. Of course, we need a data structure which will store the user's requests. We are creating a new data structure. Let's name it forecast. All right, and configuring the fields. Of course, there should be a field CD type of string and the API response, the response of Open Weather Map API. Type of JSON, which is a standard format for API interactions. Okay, and now we are creating API endpoint. That is the must for uh, getting access to the data from web pages, from third party systems, and so on. So we are creating a method. We are removing the conditions on user sessions because we are going to create public API endpoint. We are choosing ID as uh, available for reading and CD as available for writing. All right, going back to the page and adding the form, choosing the freshly made API endpoint. Let's add the title to the page get weather forecast all right editing submit button text checking the fields all right city the only displayed field it should be required of course and now let's check okay and that would be prettier to make it narrower, say 400 pixels width. All right. And a little trifle, we are setting description, helping the user to figure out what he or she should enter to the field. Perfect. Let's test. Build a New York. Of course, nothing happened, but the object should have been created. Let's check the data structure forecast, and here it is New York. Perfect. Now we are going to create a scenario. By clicking New Scenario, setting the name, request forecast via API, then we are choosing target structure, forecast, and we are not choosing any triggers because we are going to run the scenario synchronically. We could use the standard HTTP request step for requesting an API or utilize the uh, plugin. Here we inserting the field city all right and choosing the field where we are going to save the response all right let us test the scenario and for that we are copying id of an object choosing debug section here and throwing an object with that id into the scenario checking the logs all right, and here we see the response from the API. All right. Now we are going to parse the JSON. We could use uh, JSON step or the regular edit step. 
Okay, let us check one more time the structure of JSON, the schema. So we are seeing here the nested object. Okay, but first of all, we need to add a couple of more parameters, so-called context variables. We could use the fields of an object or the parameters, doesn't matter. Let's use parameters. A couple of fields, type of decimal, temperature and humidity. And here we are setting those parameters from context variables. Temperature. Checking the structure of JSON one more time. weather, main, all right, main, and then temp. So we are choosing the field API response. Then we are turning off smart field inputs to parse the JSON this way. Of course, we can always consult the documentation. Let's have a look at the templating the principles of templating the JSON here. That is a kind of a cheat sheet. All right, everything is correct. That is the correct way for parsing JSON, one of the ways. Now let us check the correctness of, of the expression. We are pasting the ID of an object here, checking and all right. We see that the temperature is in Kelvins, so we need to transform it to Fahrenheit. Consulting the Google, that is the formula, and let's implement that formula in our scenario. So first of all, we should decrease the amount to 273.15, All right, don't forget to turn on the coding mode to implement math. Then multiply to 9, divide to 5, and then plus 32. All right, let's check the expression. And I want to decrease the number of digits after the point. We are using the function to fix it. Let us check. All right. And of course, remember that we can consult the documentation each and every time. There is a section, tips for dealing with data, and there are a lot of tips for dealing with numbers, dates, strings, and so on. And here we see that function to fixed. All right. And now I'm going to extract the humidity in the similar way. I open with that. Please turning off the smart field input and checking the name of the property humidity this way. Okay, let us check the whole scenario one more time. Choosing debug session, throwing an object, and looking at their logs. Context variables, everything seems correct. Next, we need to display the result in the form. So we are going to the form, settings, here choosing the result, process data synchronically. But first of all, we need to add the scenario to the endpoint that is running synchronically, here. But there is none because we need to publish the scenario and set it in the run mode, in the running mode. All right. Go into the API endpoint one more time. 
issues in the synchronic scenario. All right. Now coming back to the web pages, the form. All right. And we need to use some fields where the result is stored. And there should be fields of an object, not the context, because the context could be used just from this scenario, not from the web page. So we are adding the success flag, the field type of boolean, then the result title, field type of string, and the result text. Okay. Okay, saving, going back to, to the scenario. To save those results to the fields. Here, we edit in the scenario. And of course, comments are very helpful. It makes the scenario readable. Now, editing the object saving the result. Of course, adding the comments. Success is true. Then title success. And then the result text. We're composing the, the phrase, the message using our results temperature in city name All right is and then we are pasting the context variable temperature Fahrenheit All right and the humidity in a similar way Context variables humidity percent. All right, we don't need any coding mode because we are not applying JavaScript or mathematics here. Now, going to the result, and of course, we need to add those fields to the API endpoint. That is a security issue. All right, available for reading those three fields, save and exit, go into the web page. All right, here we see those fields, title and text. Now let's test the form. Let's check the weather in London. All right, it works. One more time, San Francisco. All right. And now let's test something weird. Not a city. And you see the error. We need to handle it somehow. By going back to the scenario. We see the exception here. And in the logs as well. And let's add the special step, catching arrow step. Don't forget to add comments to the scenario. It is very helpful. All right, and here we edit in the result field. Success is false. That is a type of boolean, true or false. Then title, that something went wrong. Error and the text that open modem up API doesn't know such a city. All right, publishing and testing one more time. Check. Okay, it works as well. 
And don't forget that any time we are saving an object, it is stored in the table, in the data structure. 